Okay, so we're live from the food distribution at Miami Lakes United Methodist Church. Check us out. Give you guys a, uh, a good view of what's happening here today. Volunteers have been out here since 6.30 uh, in the morning. Some of them were working through the, through the night to make sure that everything was ready for today. Let me see, I think we have uh, we have Councilman Coyazo here with us. Hold up, hold up, hold up, look what we got here, look what we got here. How's it going Miami Lakers? What's the message, Councilman Coyazo? Come down, Miami Lakes United Methodist Church. We still have some food left, there is no line, so Miami Lakers, if you want to pick up some groceries, stay in your car, drive right through, and you get some groceries. You heard that, you heard that, come on out here. You got any neighbors that need some extra assistance or any difficult times? Uh, you come out here to Miami Lakes United Methodist Church. Let me see this. Nelson. Hey, Miami Lakers. Thank you for coming out and supporting everybody out here. We're so proud of this church and what they've done over here at uh, United Methodist. It's incredible, incredible. What an amazing day. So I'll give you guys a tour. Check this out. These are all the, the amazing volunteers here. You guys are live on the town's social media page. How are you guys? Good. Hey, everything good? Awesome, huh? How are you? How are you? Everything good? Everything good. Thank you. How you doing? Great, thank you. I'm sorry. Hey Annie, you're live. Live on the town social media page. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Look what we got here. Look, what's the message? You're live on the town social media page. Caught you guys. Hey, we got folks watching from home. They want to hear what the message is. So come on out. What do you think, Pastor? Thank you for hosting this at Miami Lakes United Methodist. Uh, Lieutenant Gonzo did a great job organizing all the traffic today. What's uh, what's the message for folks at home? Well, first of all, can we not thank our wonderful police that, you know, they're down to the every detail that we needed to have this thing run smoothly. They were there. They had a great plan. And that's why this is such a great place to live. This is one of the reasons your team, your people are just so uh, professional. And not only professional, they got big hearts. I really love the way they've contributed, not only just doing their job, but doing it with a lot of enthusiasm and, and a heart for service. I'm real thankful for that. And can I say again thank you to our mayor who's working so hard to make sure we have a wonderful community. He goes out of his way, gang, to uh, make sure that we have all the tools we need to do the job we're called to do. And he's bent over backwards, but maybe one of the, his biggest gifts is how he's brought different people into play here. How he's brought one guy who got to donate time and usage of a refrigeration truck, which is absolutely vital to us. I think it's to this program and other programs that, we're, that are around the area as well. We've become a storing house for some of that refrigerated material. So there's so many players. And I want a special thank and shout out to our local citizens who volunteered today. What an amazing, amazing that. group of people. What a delight to be a part of a community that cares this much about, about the people in their community. And uh, you know one, I know I'm talking about I'll get no, you, no, you can no, have it any time. No, but you know what, one, one, you talk about bringing America together, this is what it's supposed to look like, what America's supposed to look like. And uh, it is running beautifully today because people have put aside their politics, have put aside whatever differences they might have in just serving each other. Couldn't be a better model, Mayor. Thank you for all your hard work. And the whole team, I know your whole staff, the whole council, a great bunch of people. A lot of them are out here as well today again, and just thankful for all the help. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for everything, Pastor, giving back. This is amazing today. Gonzo, what are your thoughts? Uh, this is a great event. Uh, we're, we're so happy to be part of it, help out. I mean, the community doing a great job. All the volunteers here, they're doing a great job. Phenomenal work by everybody, staff, the pastor, and we appreciate all the hard work put by everybody. And uh, I can't complain. And uh, be safe, everyone. Take care, guys. We're gonna give you keep Thank giving you, you a tour. All right, guys. You. Thank you for everything. Let me. Check it out. These are the amazing, amazing volunteers here. You guys are live on the town social media page. Hey, Emily, how you doing? Hey, how are you? What's up? How are you guys? Hello. Hey, Barbara, you got any words? No, 
just grateful that everybody's coming through and that we're able to help everybody out today. Uh, the church has been great. All the council people, you yourself have been fantastic and we really appreciate everybody's cooperation. I'm very grateful for all the volunteers. Uh, they're coming out, they've been phenomenal. Everything's so super organized and I'm just a uh, very blessed day for everyone. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. You guys got any words of encouragement to the folks at home? Want to say anything, Emily? Good? Got it. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Main thing. Praise our Lord. Did, definitely. You want to say that? All the praise goes to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. How are you? These are amazing volunteers here. You guys are live on the town social media page. Hey, Rosie, you got anything to say to the folks at home? You're live. You know, this is amazing. So much work, so much volunteering, so much hope for all of our people in this beautiful community. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank, Thank you, guys. Pastor. Thank you. You guys are live on, social, on the town's social media pages. Thank you guys for giving back. Hey, you guys got any message for the folks at home? You're live on the town social media about next set. You want to talk about next Saturday too and what's happening today? Yeah, so next Saturday we're going to be hosting a uh, parade in mem uh, to uh, recognize uh, J little Jakey who's fighting a strong battle with cancer. So Miami Lakes Cars for a Cure was all dedicated to him this year to his cause of pediatric cancer. So join us next Saturday as we're going to be parading classic cars through the town of Miami Lakes. Awesome, guys. Right, yeah, man, we're fighting for Jakey. Jakey's coming home. I'm so happy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I think there's still some food available, is there? Yep, yep, we still got. Yeah, we still got food, we still got food. Awesome, awesome, awesome. One of Miami Lakers, come out here, come check it out. If you know anybody that needs some extra help during these difficult times, this is a, this is the moment to come out, time to come on out here to Miami Lakes United Methodist Church. You can see the community is united, working hard. Come on out here. Take care, Miami Lakers, and be safe, and together we will get through this.